Alright, so I hope this is going to work out. I got mystery box today. I believe this is the four-stroke engine. 50... Oh, 3cc. I believe this one is. Jeez. They packed this like a plus here. Everything inside it sounds like a uh, bag of wood chips. So, let's see what we get. Here in the box. Oh, there's our engine. Pull it out of the plastic here. Nice, and it is the belt drive. Check that out. Everything looks good. Let me set it to the side and uh, see what else we got in the box here. Alright. We have an instruction manual. What is it? Basic maintenance? Yeah, it's like basic maintenance on the uh, engine itself. Like gaps and stuff, so going to be interesting to read what's in that. We got our standard 44 tooth sprocket. Kill switch, throttle, assembly. Oh, we got the standard, everyone calls them a rag joint. It's actually called the pineapple joint, by the way, for anyone that cares. We got our gas cap, fuel filter, bunch of hardware. It comes with Allen keys. It actually comes with tools. Hmm. All right. We got our uh, throttle cable. Uh, we got some mounts here for the engine bracket. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of engine bracket they put in here. It shows the good one. We got our standard chain guard. Maybe we'll use it for something funny. A four stroke exhaust. Oh, it is different. I didn't know that. Usually they're about here. With the, uh, it's a little longer. Sadly, it is dented. That's kind of a bummer on a brand new kit, but it's <laughs> a motorized bicycle exhaust. So, that's a negative right there for me anyways. Alright, so what do we got here? Here's the tank. Let's see how this looks. Looks pretty well protected. These are what usually take the most damage, right? All the dents. Looks good. Nothing. Nice. Set that to the side. Alright. We got us an exhaust mount clamp. Now. They sent me extended crank arms instead of an extended crank. You use the original one. So this is different for me. I've never seen this design before. It goes right on the original crank and then they bend it out. So this company is... And they use the smaller freaking sprocket, which is like so nice to pedal. So, 
kind of interesting design here. I think that's a lot better than those weird ones because they tend to eat the bearings up and the shaft wears out, so kind of neat. We'll get back to that later. All right. Oh good, we got a four volt tensioner. Remember to always change the hardware on these, throw it out. Though, they did use the bigger, heavier uh, gauge, you know, nuts and stuff on this, so. Well, better than what you normally get, I can tell you that much. Is this whipped? No, it feels solid. We got our chain, standard. And they did. Look at that. These are the ones you want to get, folks, if you do a motorized bicycle build with a four-stroke. I learned this the very hard way the first time. You get the cast iron one that doesn't flex. The flex is what causes you so much chaos. We'll have to adapt this a little bit for my frame because I have a weird frame that this is going on. But uh, these are the best mounts that you can possibly get right here. You got to get the one with the cast iron. But uh, a little rusty, kind of a eh. But all in all, not bad. We might repaint this over. It is flaking around the uh, cutouts. It looks like they painted it and then cut it <laughs> with the water jet. So I kind of cheaped out a little there. But for the price of what I paid and the fact that I got a cast iron one of these, I'm not complaining. This is this is what makes the build right here. And a lot of people don't realize that. Alright, what else we got? We get our handles. Got a tool. Mm-hmm. We got a spanner wrench for some reason. Oop, let me get that out. And we are empty. Alright. So let's put all this up there. Oh, we got our gas tank. The spanner wrench. It must be something to do with in here. I don't know. I've never got one of these with a kit before. And there's our bracket mounting hardware. Throttle assembly. The sprocket we're not going to use. Maybe we will use it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a uh, pineapple joint. Just for fun. Uh, everything seems pretty standard, pretty well made. I got no complaints so far. Everything's there, it's complete. Like I said, standard chain, not lubed at all, which is actually preferable for me. Then you don't get covered in stuff trying to uh, put one together. But let's see, anything else? Just check in. Nope, everything's good in there. What is this? Loose. That's a heat shield. Oh, okay. That's a heat shield for the exhaust. Now, I had a lot of people tell me to take the heat shield off. What is uh, people's thoughts on that? I don't know. I've never uh, taken one off before. I'm one of these anyways, so let me know your thoughts on that, but a lot of people said just take this right off when you get it out of the box and let the air hit it. I am in the south, so. No, very hard to open. Tells you the model of it. It says it's 53.2 centimeters, 49 centimeter D plus. I have the 144F is what I actually have here. So mine is 
for displacement. Bore stroke. Max output. Oh, these must be governed too. I'm gonna take it. We're gonna take this all apart. Take a look what's inside. It tells you how to do the oil. How to do the air filter. Top of the fuel. Oh yeah, see how it gets splashed on the blowback. I'd imagine it's brutal in these. Type of oil, all that, spark plug gap. Wow, it actually goes through and tells you everything. Nice. I want to see if it tells you, like, the uh, PM and all that good stuff. Empty. Well, I'll have to look through more. I'm looking for two specific things in here. We'll get to that a little later. But, all in all, it looks like a monster. <laughs> Very interesting, isn't it? He's galvanized. <laughs> it's like our sneak city getting hit from the heat. It burns off. Everything looks good. Nothing's cracked. Just looking for damage. I like it. I like it. Foam filter. Let's take a look. It's a regular foam filter. Did a nice job crimping these. Oh, everything all in all looks pretty quality on this. I don't like seeing that. It looks like the clutch is stuck. Oh, okay. It's just dragging because it's new. Alright, what do we got first bracket on the back here? Uh, we got, let's start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 tooth. Alright. Looks like a 5 8 shaft. So, I'm kind of curious to see the belt drive in this. Since we got it here, what are we looking at? All Phillips? I've heard these are the uh, better of the ones to get the belt drive. Unless it's like fooling me here. But it did say belt drive. I've never owned a belt drive one, and I've only worked on two of them with a the belt drive. Neither of them had a cover. So. Whatever's under here is just as new to me as it is to you. Nice! Wow, that is nice. Let me, uh... Of course, I don't have the, uh... Or two before I lose it. Come on. Wow, look at that. Not bad at all. 
That's a nice machining and stuff in there. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Clutch is pretty balanced, too. Look at that. You know how the bell housings usually wobble. I'm impressed so far. Anyways, what do you think we should do with it? We got all kinds of things we can do with this four stroke. So, we're going to uh, for sure play around with this one. But it's going to go on the new black bike. And I don't know. We'll see. But here we are. We got it. I figured I'd at least give you an unboxing of what we got. But, uh, Damn, I'm actually pretty impressed on this. This looks like a pretty sweet little kit right here. I'll link all of it in the description of the one that I purchased.